What's up, Dude, Thanks for having me. This is a big one. Let's do it. Honestly, when I walked in here, I felt immediately like I was like on Long Island. I forgot I was in Charlotte. You gotta get just a everything bagel with cream cheese too, so you could get the the full effect. You know it's good, you got enough cream cheese in the in the in the circle. Yeah, yeah. Be here. Spread Cheers. It. Cheers, man. There you go. When I moved down here, I started to realize that the same couple of names kept popping up on my newsfeed. People that I wasn't necessarily following, but were getting retweets from people that I did follow. And I was like, all right, there's definitely a community on Twitter as well. He just like put a message out on Twitter. Don't tell people that. <laughs> It was playoffs, right? So it was playoffs 2016. Everybody's feeling good. Double overtime game. We start going nuts. Scott now quiet. Fires. He scores! We start going nuts. And everybody's running one upstairs. Like, what's going on? People poking their head out. Like, is everybody okay? Right? And, uh, and from then on, it was... Was was just a bunch of loud New Yorkers, you yeah. know? I just think that's so cool. Like, we put the time and effort in because it means so much to watch the game with people, right? Yeah, the, the beautiful thing is the Islander fan that we are seeing in our group that has never stepped foot in Long Island. And, you know, their experience when they are going to go through life is, oh, I watch games with this meetup group. And that's going to be what solidifies them as diehard fans, you know, the rest of their lives. We're already lost in Charlotte, 10 minutes into the shoot. <laughs> Did you ever think that sending out that one tweet would create all this? Um, no. <laughs> like, I was 100% prepared to be at that bar with just my wife. I like to say no Islander fan should watch a game alone. The fact when I walked into that bar and I saw Kevin Carney sitting with his Mike Bossy jersey at the bar. I was like, all right, at least I got this guy. And then a few more kept coming in and it's been just growing since then. <laughs> oh, the, Rufio's coming with. Rufio coming with. Rufio. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm a little bit of a minimalist at heart, so I only keep like really special items. The Pierre Turgeon paperweight here was a gift from Isles meet up Philly, and then uh, this bear was our uh, moose <laughs> was given to us when we went to the game with John Ledecky. So, what do you think it's going to be like tonight? I, I hope the floor doesn't come down because oh, yeah. <laughs> sometimes it gets pretty loud in there. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah, full house going crazy. You know, Saturday Hopefully night. This isn't the last footage you see of me. <laughs> I also forgot this weekend in Carolina. They're gonna have a blast down at the Carolina meetup group. They've got a bunch of barn rocker. Mikey's doing a great oh, job. Jay from MSG's going oh. down this weekend. <laughs> so everybody down in Carolina, have a good time on Saturday night. I try to bring that experience from New York. That's why we're gonna have Oyster Bay Barn Rocker tonight and do the chance that they remember from going to games. <laughs> <laughs> to me, Isles Meetups represents unity and coming together to have that special night to be able to cheer on their team. So how much for a raffle ticket? All right. It's your first time here tonight. Yeah, it is. Nice to meet you. I'm Mike. Nice to meet you. Hopefully I've you come back. I've heard a lot about your here, so. Awesome. Honestly, it's all of you <laughs> that come to these meetups that has kind of gotten us on the radar to show people that Islander fans are no freaking joke. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mikey. I like to say that Islander fans are only diehards, and that speaks to the type of people that are Islander fans, and those are my people. Those are the people that I want in my life. Let's